again. I've got Luke with me today. Hello. We're going to make scones. Luke, you're going to do the fruit sweet scones, aren't you? Yep. And I'm going to do some savoury ones. So we're out here in the garden trying to find some herbs that will go with the sun-dried tomatoes and olives. Luke, try that one. That should be a flavour you recognise. It's called chives. Okay. Oh, it's turned very oniony. Exactly right. This one is much stronger. Yeah, it is strong. I'm going to use some rosemary, that's what this one is, but not a huge amount. Look, we've each got our bowls of flour yeah. and our butter here. And what we're going to do is just chop that up a little bit, pop it into the flour and then rub it through our fingertips to make breadcrumbs. Okay. And it's a nice soft butter, so we hardly need to chop it, do we? You can just nearly ping it in with our fingertips. So now we're going to just rub it in between our fingertips, nice and lightly. If you bring it up, it gets a bit more air into it. So you're just lifting it up like that. You got that, Luke? Yeah. Now, I gather you're also a video person. Yes. What do you do on video? Um, I tend to record myself doing games. And I also make voices for my characters. Because I hear you've got a t-shirt on with one of your characters. Is it Greg or something? Yes, his name is Greg. And he's very excitable. So when I'm, so when I'm talking for him, I talk really fast like this. <laughs> and I'm really excitable. <laughs> That's brilliant. And how, how many characters are you doing? Um, well, at the moment, I've been trying to, I'm trying to do Undertale. So I've done Flowey. Um, he's very sort of, he starts off very innocent but then turns evil. How do you do evil? Like this. <laughs> That's wonderful. How's your rubbing in going? It's going really well. It's becoming more bread crummy as we talk. Excellent, well done. So Luke, what's your next step now? Well, my next step is to put in this baking powder right here. Yep. Then I've also got to put in the raisins and the sugar, which are in the same bowl. And this is our pre-beaten egg. Outstanding. Okay, so I'm going to be going over, around and then over, just to make sure that all of it is combined. Yep. Luke, that feels like well mixed, so now we're going to add half the milk. Just be careful that you don't go wild and spill in too much, okay? Okay, now try half of what's left and we'll mix that in. Okay. Luke, that feels like a good mix. It's really soft and sticky. What we're going to do now is put half of this remaining flour onto our rolling mat okay. and then put the dough on top. All right. Okay. Rolling it out? Yep. What next, Luke? Well, I'm going to be sprinkling this flour onto that dough. Not so it looks like a snowstorm, but just enough that it covers it. Good. Luke, what are you up to at this time? Well, I'm going to fold it, and then I'm going to turn it, and then I'm going to fold it again. Okay. Luke, now we're ready for rolling. Here's the pin, and I've put a little more flour down on there so that you can um, not stick to the mat. Mm. Okay, so you go down in the middle. Yep, gently. And you roll out forwards. Yep. You go back down in the middle, and then you roll out backwards. And that looks like all we need. So, first things first. I'm going to dip this in there so that the dough doesn't stick and then I'm going to go right to the edge I'm just going to push through and then I'm going to pull away and then push down there we go Luke, come and have a feel and see what you think mm, yeah, they are puffy I'll pop them in the oven will you give me 15 minutes on the timer please? yes Luke, while yours are cooking, I'm just going to knock together these savoury scones. So there's some salt and a bit of pepper. Then I've got my baking powder. These are the chopped olives, herbs and sun-dried tomatoes. Here goes the egg. Luke, it would be good if you could help me because you can see. Yeah. Can you pop in half that milk? Half of it? Yep. Okay. That's the savoury scones cut out and now they're just having a few minutes while the baking powder does its magic. Luke, can you just brush the top of my scones with your egg wash please? Yes, I can. 
So there you go. Luke, 15 minutes on the timer, please. Okay. This is what I made this morning. Some fruit scones with strawberry jam and cream. Wow, they, they sound delicious. delicious. Yes. These are the savoury scones. Really fragrant with all that rosemary, black olives and sun-dried tomatoes. A great alternative to bread rolls for supper or lunch. And they taste just scrumptious. All the recipes are on my website, www.bakingblind.com.